Brace yourselves because winter came all at once in one weekend here in Rhode Island. I assume this is Mother Nature's way of getting retribution on us New Englanders for thinking that we could have a giant parade on a Tuesday. Ah, oh, I thought you'd take a day out of work. Well, I'm gonna fuck up your weekend. So what's a guy to do when he's trapped in a house with nothing except thousands of dollars in electronic equipment, books, movies, and video games? Obviously, download a free game on my phone and lose hours of my life to it. Now, I've never been big on mobile games. My Facebook friends pestered me enough times with Farmville and Candy Crush for me to know that it would never be my cup of tea. Plus, I like experiences that have stories, and I'm never really in a position to play games for the purposes of killing time, i.e. bus rides or breaks at work. I played Pokemon Go for a while, but that started to lose its luster after a while. After you've caught your 600 CP34 Pidgey, you tend to stop basking in the afterglow. On January 18th, 2017, Nintendo held a Nintendo Direct focusing entirely on new Fire Emblem titles. I was excited for this because I just recently started getting into Fire Emblem. I bought Awakening not long before Fates came out, and I really enjoyed what I've played of it, and have since tracked down earlier games in the series that I'll get to at some point, I'm sure. Of course, anyone who knows me, knows me well, knows that I nearly broke the sound barrier with screams of joy at the announcement of a Fire Emblem Warriors game. I pretty much enjoyed everything about the Direct, but there was one game that that was announced that I sort of scoffed at. A game called Fire Emblem Heroes. Psh, said I. These silly mobile free-to-play games are all worthless, and I all but tuned it out at that point. I mean, I was new to Fire Emblem, and my exposure to the characters was from one game in the series and maining Ike for a short time in Brawl. The man fights for his friends. And also... <laughs> So I figured that a game that was mainly fan service for the Fire Emblem fans wouldn't really be for me anyway, so I let it pass. Then the game was released on February 2nd, 2017. I didn't get it that day, of course. I saw a few friends get it, and they said that it was enjoyable, and I figured, you know what, good for them. At least they got something to kill time. And then the snow hit. 14 inches of fine white booger sugar dumped itself all over the northeast. I was trapped at a relative's house, and I needed something to pass the time because her kids were watching trash on TV, and I wanted no part of that. So I saw Fire Emblem Heroes featured in the app store, and what the hell, I thought. So I gave it a download, and it is glorious. I'll always admit when I'm wrong, and I was dead wrong about this game. If this is what we can expect from free-to-play mobile games in the future, then I'm down to clown with this movement. It's possible to play this game for a long time without ever having to spend a dime, and you can play it for a few minutes or even a few hours at a time if you're spending it wisely. The game isn't pushy about getting you to spend money, and there's a storyline! Can all mobile games that come out please work this well? Essentially, you play as Kieran if you're a plebeian, or Mugfugger if you're a cool dude with the mind of a five-year-old. Kieran is a summoner, but he doesn't summon monsters. Oh no, he summons people. People that just so happen to be Fire Emblem characters. And in order to summon them, you use orbs that you get by completing the story missions. But why summon these characters in the first place? Well, other Fire Emblem characters are invading, kind of, and you summon other Fire Emblem characters to stop them. The gameplay is pretty much what you'd expect. Each character has different weapon types and abilities types that act as a Rochambeau with other characters. You build a team of four heroes for each battle, and fighting with them levels them up. As time goes on, you'll gain special points to give your characters special abilities. The game is surprisingly deep, and I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. It surpassed all of my expectations. The art style is really nice, with every character looking distinct and expressive. There's also voice acting in the game, and it's clear that a lot of effort was put into it from Intelligent Systems and Nintendo. It's not on the level of a main Fire Emblem game, but what's here is really cool, and I'm interested to see how this game is supported, which kind of brings me to my biggest fear, and that is that with a game like this, once you've done it, you're all done. I stopped playing Pokemon Go after six months because there was nothing else to do. And there was little to do in the first place, but after doing it a thousand times, it got really boring. Thankfully, Heroes has monthly challenges, and there's a ton of Fire Emblem characters that you can summon, so I see it lasting for well past its initial launch, but hopefully there is more planned because I feel like this game can support it. Also, I hope that it acts as like a catalyst for more mobile games to follow in its strategy. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I hope you get this little game, because it is quite enjoyable and it's what I've been doing instead of working on stuff. And uh, don't take that to mean anything bad, I, I mean, I have written a little bit of the As Failed on TV Super Bowl special, but it didn't really give me a lot of material to work with in terms of commercials, so... Uh, it is still coming though, fret not, but uh, you should get this game, 
because it's fun and it's available on both the App Store and on Android, so there's no reason why you shouldn't get it. Stage clear. Look at me. Look at me go. Thanks, Shauna.